Hello everyone. I'm Brienne. And this is my bookshelf. And today we're talking about this totally awesome book, Where Do You Go Bernadette by Maria Semple. The story is about a family, a father, mother, and daughter who are living in Seattle, Washington area. The dad, his name is LG. The mom, Bernadette, here, is an award-winning architect. Both Bernadette and LG are from the East. So she's very posh and kind of she dresses all with her scars and she wears her big sunglasses all the time. One reason why she wears the sunglasses is so she can kind of avoid people. She's kind of antisocial. Her daughter, B, is, she was born with a heart defect and thus leading to, she, she's like 14 years old, but she looks like a 10 year old because her body just wasn't able to develop quickly and so she's very small. She and, and Bernadette have an extremely close relationship. They, are con they consider one another as best friends. The dad, LG, works for Microsoft and he's super revered. He makes a ton of money, just the great guy. And he and Bernadette, in the beginning of their relationship, you know, head over heels, they loved each other so much, but then in LA, uh, Bernadette, she experiences this huge hardship. It's a project she was working on and then it just, something extremely terrible happens and it sends her just completely over the edge. So, so LG gets a job at Microsoft and they, she decides, why don't we just move up to Washington and, and continue with their lives out there. But for her, she kind of becomes this recluse. She continues to have t challenging experiences. And when B comes along in their life and she's born with this heart defect, she throws everything she has into her daughter and just totally um, forgets about everything else. There's one section in the book where she's writing an email to a colleague of hers. And it's like several pages long in the book. And when the email's done, he responds and he says two lines, are you done? <laughs> you need to keep, get back and doing what you're good at. So B, she's a good girl. She continually asked her parents, I think it was for a horse or something. And her parents to get her distracted from the horse said, if you get good grades all throughout school, like an A plus student, then you can, we'll get you whatever you want. So she's in her eighth grade year. She comes to her parents with her report card and she's got, had all straight A's ever since she's been to that school. She says, you know what, mom and dad, I want you to take me to Antarctica on a cruise. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity and she is stoked. So her dad and mom agree, but you know, dad had to take time off work and he's super busy, he's kind of a workaholic. Mom is totally antisocial and scared out of her wits. There's this one part in the book, it, it goes to show the funny relationship that B and Bernadette have, but also the intelligence of B and the ignorance of Bernadette. So this is what they say. This is Bernadette. She says, don't get all peevish on me, she said. I'm the one taking you to the South Pole. Mom, I said, we're not going to the South Pole. Wait, we're not? The only place tourists go is the Antarctic Peninsula, which is like the Florida Keys of Antarctica. It's shocking, but mom genuine, genuinely didn't know it didn't seem to know this. It's still zero degrees, I continued, but it's a, a teeny tiny part of Antarctica. It's like someone saying they're going to Colorado for Christmas, and then you ask them, how is New York? Sure, it's the United States, but it's just totally ignorant. Please tell me you knew that, Mom. 
I think their relationship's hilarious. And I think the, the conversation they have is just really funny too. And Bernadette's like 50 and B's 14. So, it, you know, you can see the intelligence of this 14 year old girl and wit as well. This book is basically written by B, the daughter, and um, it's about her mom. And <laughs> where do you go, Bernadette? It's about where she went and kind of who she was, is. And it's just this whole story about this family, really, where mom's going crazy, dad doesn't know how to help her, daughter is just like, I love my mom, there's nothing wrong, I love our decaying house, it's the best thing in the world, and dad's just, he's got it up to here, he doesn't, his wife is someone that he doesn't even know anymore, and there's changes of heart in the characters of the book. It's a, it's a self-discovery book of the characters, not necessarily of me, but of the characters. They come to realize, this is who I am, and this is why I love my daughter, or my husband, or my wife, and going through hard times to change, help us to change and be better. And that's kind of what life is about. It, we need to have difficulties, challenges in our life to progress and to move forward. Without challenges, we become stagnant and we don't become better people. It has good laughs, <laughs> enjoyable laughs actually. Irritation. I definitely got irritated with some of the characters and I just wanted to go up and like, to these characters and be like, shake them or something. Get it through your head. But at the end, you have a lot of love for the characters and you see how people change and become better. It's fun. Read it. You'll like it. And cut. Because I was thinking of just like, you, I do this and you get a close-up of the book. Welcome to Brienne and my bookshelf. Should I do that? <laughs>